What's up insiders, Connor here with your weekly news flash. Now, the first update I have for you is by far the most exciting one, and that is that this month, living room impressions will start to appear in YouTube analytics. So what this means is that impressions derived from sources like TV and gaming consoles will start to appear in your analytics account. Now, important to note a couple of things. First is that this is simply a reporting change. There's no difference to your video's standard performance. The second is you may see a difference in your click-through rate if your impression metrics change. But what's important to note is that your overall metrics like your watch time, your views, your revenue, they are not changing as a result of this as your views and revenue data have always been counted taking into account these particular sources. Any questions, let us know. Okay, so the next update is one that I wish, I wish I could memorize perfectly, but this one is really important and I wanna get it right to make sure that everything's clear, all the I's are dotted and T's are crossed. So I'm actually gonna read it out, so bear with me. So this update is about important tax requirements for monetizing creators outside of the United States. If you're a creator outside of the United States, you may begin to have taxes deducted from your US earnings later this year. Google has a responsibility under Chapter 3 of the US Internal Revenue Code to collect tax information from all monetizing creators outside of the United States and, in certain circumstances, to deduct taxes when these creators earn income from viewers in the US. These United States earnings can come from ad views, YouTube Premium, Super Chat, Super Stickers, and channel memberships. We're asking creators to submit relevant tax information in AdSense by May 31st, 2021. So Google can determine the correct amount of taxes to deduct, if any apply. Taxes will be deducted as early as June 2021 and will occur with each monthly payment. How much you'll be taxed will depend on a few things. Did you submit your tax information? How much does your channel earn from viewers in the United States? Does your country have a tax treaty with the United States? If a creator's tax information isn't provided by May 31st, 2021, Google may be required to apply the default backup withholding rate of up to 24% of their total earnings worldwide. If you're a channel that partners with a multi-channel network, an MCN, you will still need to provide US tax information in the AdSense account linked to your channel. If any taxes apply, these will be deducted from the payment made to your MCN. If you are a creator in the United States, most of you have already completed US tax information in AdSense when you first joined the YouTube Partnership Program and won't see any new taxes. For more information on this change, we've linked resources, including a detailed video in the description. There, I got through it. I hope you're clear and make sure and check out that video in the description. It's actually really helpful. All right, let's do a little bit of time travel. We just talked about what creators outside of the US who are monetizing need to do by May of this year. Let's take a little bit of a leap back to last week. Last week in analytics, we launched new and returning viewers metrics, which you can see in the audience tab. This is to 100% of creators, but doesn't yet apply to content owners and artistic channels. This new metric is going to be really helpful because it will allow you to see who is returning to your channel and that will help you to inform content strategies and see if you should be returning to specific topics and how you can experiment with your channel. All right, you'll never guess what, we have more great analytics updates and this time it's around the mobile app space. So when you go into analytics now, you'll be able to see a real-time card. Of course, you could see that before but we've made some changes. This time, we're showing you the thumbnails of each of the videos and we're sorting them by views, whereas before it was sorted by publish date. On top of all of this, you're gonna be able to see a maximum of 15 videos. That's 10 more than the previous limit, which was, guess what, five. Now, when we made this change initially, the links that you could use to deep dive into each of the videos, they were broken. Because of the fact that you cited this problem to us, we were able to fix it pretty quickly and it's now fixed. So thanks so much for those of you who called that out. 
All right, so that was the real-time card. Now onto tabs. Now what we've done here is focused on alignment. We've aligned the tabs that we know you love. Those include audience, reach, engagement, overview, revenue. And what we've done is taken some cards away. They're still accessible on desktop, but we know they weren't being used that much on mobile. Those include cards and playlists. Now, what we've replaced those with is some things that we know are driving usage on the app, and that's stuff like watch time via subscribers. So, that's your update when it comes to analytics on Studio Mobile. Let us know if you have any feedback. We'll prioritize what we know the user base wants. All right, and that's just about it, but we don't wanna finish up until we get to some of your questions, which we found in the comments. So, glasses back on. We wanna address two comments, actually. Um, last week, one of the best channel names I've ever heard, Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews, commented on the bug in Android where creators can't approve held comments that are replies. Our team is aware of the bug and a fix should be coming soon. So that's your answer for that one. Techno, T-A-K, also said, wish the mobile studio app was more feature packed, in which the team responded, studio mobile is one of our key focuses in 2021. We would like it to be just as feature risk as desktop. So stay tuned. So what you're hearing here is that number one, any comment that you leave underneath this video is reviewed by myself, the producer of the channel, and as well as that, any teams that need to be made aware of bugs that you find or concerns that you have. Moreover, mobile is a huge focus for the platform this year and beyond, so we hope to bring those rich features uh, to the app as well as having them in desktop. So from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators, thank you so much for tuning in. Like and subscribe. We really want to grow this channel and make sure if you have any questions, you drop them below. We'll see you next week.